What's up, you guys, and welcome back to The Travel Knows. If this is your first time here, my name is Nia. Thank you for joining us in our little tiny corner of the internet where we obsess over everything fragrance. Today is a very special day. I got me a hot drink. I hope you do too. It's pretty cold here in Atlanta, but we're going to make the best of it. So while you watch this video, just release all your stress, decompress, and do whatever you have to do to just sit and spend some you time. So I've been waiting a while to make this video because I really wanted to give this brand the love that they deserve. Now, you should know that this is a brand that I have a lot of affection for, a lot of admiration and respect for. I love what they do. I love what their brand is all about. And I'm excited to share it with you guys because I think that enough people don't really know about them. And I'm hoping that today could be the day that you discover something new and something amazing. The brand that I'm gonna be talking about is called Scents of Wood. This brand, you guys, is so, so special and it truly embodies everything that I feel resonates within my spirit. I actually run another channel as well called Nia's Garden and everyone knows me for being outdoorsy, for loving animals. I'm like your typical tree hugger, so it's not really far-fetched that I love the brand so much. It kind of was meant to be. I literally feel like this brand was just meant for me. <laughs> I do hope to one day have all of their offerings because I really don't see myself not liking any of their scents. Now, even though I say that, I am giving you my word that I'm going to be completely open, transparent, and honest. This is not a sponsored video. Everything that I'm saying in here is my true opinion. It is what I think about the products. I have bought every single product that I'm about to show you with my own money. I've never been gifted anything from the brand. And anytime I wrote a review, it was just fully how it felt. All right, so let's get into the brand. I'm currently on senseofwood.com. I will be leaving a link to their website in the description below as I usually do, but I'm on their about page and it says, Sense of Wood is a journey into the magical mystery of forests and trees. Forests make us fall in love with nature and the universe. Now, I do wanna give a disclaimer that yes, wood is the star of the show with this brand so much that it is the beginning of the way that they make each fragrance. Fabrice, who is the founder, he pairs with many different perfumers, some of the best in the world. And actually each perfumer picks a barrel and they buy this barrel and this is the barrel in which they age their sugarcane alcohol. So from the minute, the basis, the beginning of each fragrance is wood. So if you're not into woody scents, maybe this wouldn't be the house for you but I would not do yourself a disservice by not trying something new because I really think that this could be the house that could change your mind and could change what you're into. They have three names for the brand. They have an English name, a French name, and a Japanese name, and they kind of overlap each of them on the branding as well. I'll actually show you one of the boxes that I have. So what it says is, for the Japanese name, it's an exploration of the senses of Shinrin Yoku. It is about capturing the feeling, the pull, and the attraction of forest bathing, a form of walking meditation amongst trees. Lame de Bois, which is the French name, it means soul of wood. And this is supposed to pay homage to the brand's unique creative process and the way that the perfumers select the barrels in which they want to age their organic alcohol. And lastly, Sense of Wood is their English name. It designates the final output of this labor of love. That's really beautiful. Super beautiful and super creative. Good job, Fabrice. Now on to the scents that I currently have in my collection. First, we're gonna start off with the star of their company. This particular perfume in 2021 won the Perfume Extraordinaire of the Year Award. And listen, I can understand why. The fragrance that we're gonna be talking about first is Plum and Cognac. Can you see that? Now, can we just give some love for the bottle? Can we give some love 
for how it actually does look like a tree stump. Can we give some love for the color? Can we give some love for the emblem? It is really beautiful and it is one of the most unique bottles that I carry in my collection. It's very heavy. There's some texture on the stone here. And one thing that I really like on the website, you can actually choose and customize your bottle. You get three colors for the base and two color options for the cap. You can either do a charcoal black bottle, a dark chocolate bottle, or an ivory colored bottle. Or you, and then you can pair it with either a black cap or a gold cap. And I think that that's really special. I think that's a really unique way to make it feel like each bottle is specifically for the consumer. Oh, guys, I'm listen, the notes of this fragrance are rum absolute, purple plum, cinnamon bark, Peru balsam, osmanthus, immortelle, vetiver from Haiti, Vanilla and Cistus. I don't know what Cistus is, but you guys, you guys, let me explain something to you. There's a few fragrances that embody everything that I want out of a fragrance. Quality, sexiness, uniqueness, refined, smooth. It's very hard to find a perfume that embodies everything that's on my checklist. Plum and Cognac just does that for me. What's even crazier is that, so the perfumer is actually Pascal Garon. I love this man, okay? I think he's brilliant. And to back up the idea that he's brilliant, wait until I tell you the story of how he created Plum and Cognac. Apparently, the man was thinking about the plum trees that he used to have, you know, um, I think in his grandfather's yard when he was a boy. And he would talk about burning the branches and this and this and this. I learned this information on Sebastian's channel, by the way. I'll put the video below. And he said that he went to the lab he wrote down the formula, he sent it off, and within a short time, they brought back a tester. He smelled it and he said, this is it. This is what it's gonna be. And he sent it to Fabrice, who is the founder of Sense of Wood. Now, just to reiterate again, Fabrice is the founder. He's not a perfumer himself, but he does pair with, as I said, different perfumers to make these masterpieces. And Fabrice, this is crazy. It is boozy. It's a little bit smoky. It's sweet, but it's so smooth. I've never smelled a plum so juicy. And plum is one of my favorite notes. I have a lot of perfumes with plum, but this is number one for sure. I wrote a detailed review of this on my Instagram page, The Travel Knows. Bravo, Fabrice. Bravo, Pascal Garon. We love you so much. This is so special. Like, it is unisex. Some would say, okay, maybe it leans masculine, but to be honest, anyone is going to smell sexy in this. I get so many compliments. When I put this on, within five seconds of me being out the door, I'm already getting a compliment, guaranteed for sure. It's a compliment magnet, people love it. Men, if you wear it, it is a chick magnet. <laughs> and for the women that wear it, I think it's for the strong and bold woman. It's not a soft scent by any means. But you know, something that I did learn, it only has 15% perfume oil, which I wouldn't have guessed. I would have guessed it was a lot more, but the longevity is crazy. It sticks to your clothes and your skin crazy. And if you're still watching this video at the end, I would love to give you a fragrance combo that includes this fragrance that would definitely have people stopping you in your tracks. So keep watching. Okay, okay. So the next fragrance that we're gonna be discussing is Oud in Bourbon. 
Now, this is also created by the perfumer Pascal Garon. Pascal. Listen, I, you know what's crazy? I am in love with you as a perfumer without even knowing it because these are fragrances that I chose based off the pictures and the notes. And I didn't look that you were the perfumer at first. I doubled back and then I was like, hmm, guess he's one of my top five. But this, you guys, is an eau de toilette. It only has 15% uh, perfume oil as well. The ingredients listed are coffee flavor, Davana oil, Safiano captive, cocoa, labdanum, fragipani, natural oud extrait, vanilla, and patchouli. I get the patchouli, but you guys, I like patchouli. I really like patchouli in my fragrance. If you don't like patchouli, maybe you would not like this fragrance, but there is still a boozy element to it. It's called Oudin Bourbon, so I'm guessing it has to do with uh, the kind of wood that they aged it in, but there's no bourbon listed in the notes, but it is still boozy. Also, the coffee in this is done quite different than a coffee that I'm used to. It's not an espresso that's made. It's not ground coffee beans. It's not coffee with milk. It's nothing like this. It still smells like just the coffee beans, like they were freshly picked coffee beans. And this is the aroma that I'm getting. The cocoa is so nice. It's a little bit sweet, but still keeps it a little bit dry, which is the reason why this fragrance does not lean more feminine to me. It leans a little bit more masculine, but it's still unisex. That vanilla is the perfect amount of sweetness. It's not a sickeningly sweet vanilla. This is not a sickening, sickeningly sweet scent, but it is a little sweet. I don't get so much of the Fragipani in my nose. I would like to get it a little bit more because I do really love that flower when I smell it in fragrances, but it's a bit herbal. It's a bit green in the background. And you know what's really nice? That oud is playing its part perfectly. You know how sometimes uh, you smell a scent and oud is just like, me, me, pick me. It's like the loudest thing in the perfume. You cannot smell anything else. It drowns out the rest of the notes. This is not doing that. The oud is done in such a beautiful way that it's still allowing the cocoa and the coffee to be front and center. It's very, very nice. And I'm happy to have Oud and Bourbon in my collection. <laughs> Third up, we have Oud and Acacia. Now, the perfumer behind this is Yves Cassar. The ingredients listed in this are orange flower rum absolute, rose essential, Oud oil, Oris Concentrate, Carrot Heart, Immortal, Amberwood, Vanilla, and Cedarwood Heart from Virginia. This is also an Eau de Toilette, 15%. Totally different side of the spectrum. This is more, let's see. Whoa. That rose is like rose it's rose if you don't like rose i don't know if this would be the offering for you but this is more light fresh airy fluffy god it's so gorgeous definitely leans to me more feminine and rose Rose, 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 rose is what I get the most. But wow. I don't really get so much of the oud. I, I really don't get so much of the oud. I just get smacked with rose. Um, I'm going to wear this more on my skin and I'll let you know if the oud pulls through. This is one that I haven't reached for as much, but I blind bought this. I blind bought all of them, by the way. I blind bought this and I didn't get a chance to wear it as much, but when I sprayed it, I knew that I wanted to keep it. I love it so much. 
It's a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance, but rose dominant. You should know. But yeah, that's Oudin Acacia. Okay, moving on. Now, Fabrice. If you're watching this video, I had one small critique. You, you made me a little bit sad, Fabrice, okay? I'm gonna tell you why. When I first heard of the brand, you were able to purchase these little boxes of three different 10 milliliters and you could choose what you wanted inside each box. You guys have taken away that option. They took it away and they now have it to where you can do it, but as a subscription and you would only get one cent a month. There's three kinds of subscriptions. One is an NFT subscription. Um, it's not for most people. You, can, you guys can look into that. The two more regular subscriptions, one is they follow a roadmap and they gift you a 10 milliliter with a 10 milliliter candle or you can get a full size candle and they choose for you. They follow the roadmap for all 12 months. And the second option is it's like the same, but you choose which scent you want to hop around to each month. And if you forget to choose for that month, they will just follow the roadmap from the original subscription. But I will say this, Fabrice, I feel like when we were able to choose these travel sizes, in these small boxes, it was better because there's not a lot of places that people can try your brand. A lot of people haven't heard of it. And it's a lot to commit to a almost $300 bottle if you haven't smelled something. And I felt like so many offerings that you have are so amazing and people would love to own the full brand or the full line, but it's difficult to just buy a full bottle. Um, I get that it was a marketing thing. It was probably to try to get people to give into the subscription. But I promise you, I believe in your company so much that I think that even if you still had the custom boxes, people would still reach for the subscription. Um, but yeah, I definitely missed that. I looked on the website recently and I wanted to order every single thing that they offered. I think they have 33 fragrances. I wanted to order everything in a travel size also because I'll be traveling. And where I'll be traveling to, you guys don't sell in that country. So I feel like bringing back the travel boxes, please consider. That's all I'm going to say. Please consider. But in the meantime, yes, I still have these three and I want to go over them with you. So first from my travel box is going to be Oak in Bourbon. Here's the name right here. It's beautiful. Also a wooden cap. And let me just tell you guys, the itemizer is just as good on the travel size as it is on the large bottle. So that's a plus. This was also created by Pascal Garon. Dude. Anyway, um, it doesn't say the concentration here, but the ingredients are listed as fresh ginger, black pepper, star anise, organic uh, lavender, geranium oil, guyac wood, oak wood, extract vegetable oil from Haiti and Cypro Heart. This is a fresh scent to me. Look at how beautiful the itemizer. This is fresh. What I get from this mostly is the geranium sprinkled with a little bit of lavender, that black pepper and the ginger. To me, this is a fresh, everyday scent this is one of the more wearable i hate saying that word because it depends on who you are i mean i like to be the star in any room so take that how you want it but this is a more fresh probably crowd pleaser if you're looking for something that is the most um maybe the most easy for people to enjoy it would be this one oak and bourbon all right Second to last one is one of my top three or four favorites. It is Cedar in Acacia. The perfumer is Pascal Garon. I'm just learning that at this moment right now. Um, it is an Eau de Parfum and it has 18% perfume oil. The ingredients are listed as ginger oil, cinnamon bark, cypress heart, orris, 
or it's concentrate. I'm going to explain something in a minute. Olibanum, olibanum, and cedrember. I don't know what that is, but I will tell you this. I love oris. I love oris. It is one of the most beautiful notes to me. It just gives a fragrance, a certain creaminess, a certain smooth texture that you really just cannot get out of another note. I always know when oris is in a fragrance, I am very attracted to it. I find it very beautiful and this fragrance is also fresh, but it has fresh with a little bit of spiciness. I'm guessing that's coming from the cinnamon. Perfectly unisex fragrance. This is like a daytime fragrance to me. It could be more of a summer, early fall, but oh, and the ginger just has a bite. It has a bite. It's almost like Something about that ginger is making it like spritzy, like almost like a soda. Like, you know, the bite that you get from, the first bite you get from like a Sprite when it's just, it's super cold and it's crisp. That's what this is doing for me. It is super fresh. And actually I want to get the candle of this. I want to get the candle for all of them. But this to me, I feel would smell amazing in the home, especially in a bathroom to keep things nice and fresh. It's gorgeous. Cedar and Acacia. Okay, okay, okay. So we're on the last one and I saved this one for last for a reason. I overlooked this fragrance. Not overlooked it, but I had ordered it. First of all, I ordered it as something just to add to the travel kit that I was getting. I hadn't really looked into the into the notes. I just saw Ebony and I was like, okay, I'll give it a try, whatever. I didn't really look at the reviews. I was just adding it um, as a third place holder for the box. Oh my goodness. Hold on. The perfumer is Yves Cassar. It's an other toilette of 15%, okay? This is my only problem with this fragrance is that it's an eau de toilette, 15%. I will go broke because I will continue to spray this fragrance. I don't care how many times throughout the day in order to get it to last. Guys, can we please have an straight version of this fragrance? Let me show you, let me just show it to you. So this is Ebony and Oak. First of all, look at that juice. The juice is like black and blue. Now I do wanna point this out. Um, many people have said it, it is true. This fragrance stains your skin blue. Um, and I'm assuming that it would stain any light colored clothing blue. I don't even care about that. Stain me blue. Blue's my favorite color anyway. Stain me blue, leave a tint, I could care less. Whatever process that you had to do in order to make this, keep doing it. But please, you guys, can we get it to last longer? Like, hold on. You guys, listen to me. This scent makes me so happy. Okay, anyway, the ingredients are Pink pepper, cardamom oil, saffron, geranium oil, ebony, suederol, cocoa absolute, tonka bean, and cedar wood. I get the cedar, I get the cardamom, I get the saffron, I get the pink pepper. Oof. The tonka bean. Everything in here is so perfect. This fragrance is woody sweet. I don't know if I would know how to act if I smelled this on someone outside. I would break my neck. I would double take. And I know people are going to break their necks because, wow, Mr. Kassar. 
listen, stay me blue. Just make it last longer and I promise you, I'll probably buy all the inventory that exists of this fragrance. You guys, if I'm, if I'm saying it, I would say that the ones that you need to try first, Plum and Cognac, okay? It is a winner, an award winner and a star for a reason. Ebony and Oak, Cedar and Acacia. Start there, thank me later. Okay, you guys, well, that wraps up today's video of one of my favorite houses, Sense of Wood. I hope that you guys discovered something on this list that you feel like trying. Try the subscription, buy a full bottle. This is like the one brand that I would say, I would tell anyone to blind buy because I believe in them that much. And hey, if you really, really, really dislike it, they have a very easy return process. Before we go, I wanted to give you guys a fragrance combo. Now listen, listen. When you try this combo, tag me, tag the travel knows because I want all the love after you get all the love for smelling this good, okay? So this is my honorary mention. I usually don't be sharing my combos like that, but I could not hold this in. So here's the combo. Two sprays of plum and cognac followed by one spray of Nishane Ani. Hold on, hold on. Followed by one topper spray of Anisio side effects. Listen, after you try that combo, don't blame me for the trouble that you're gonna get in, okay? I'm just a messenger. <laughs> But anyway, I was so happy to see you guys. Thank you for watching this video and making it to the end. And I will see you guys next time on The Travel Nose. Thanks, guys. Mwah.